Hey guys, welcome back to Biscuits Total to War. This is Biscuits giving you an online guide to show you how to install the mod for Roam Total to War. The mod is the vegetation mod, which will hopefully improve your graphics for Roam Total to War and make the game a more enjoyable experience. Okay, so first thing you need to do to install the mod is to download the mod. And what I'll do, if you click on the description below this video, there's going to be a link to the file to download, which is a media fire uh, download. All you do, you bring up the page and you click on this button that says green downloads click on that it's relatively small it's 162 megabytes big once you've downloaded it you've done the first stage now that you've downloaded the mod what you need to do is jump into Rome Total War and actually prepare Rome Total War for the actual installation of the mod so what you need to do is go to video settings and you need to um, just reset these settings if you can change your resolution size to 1024 and then 1024 for that one and where it says anti-analyzing change that to none um, I'd also put everything to low settings I don't know why but just bear with me and go with the flow just to do this like so so everything's all set up go back in just make sure that's all set up like that and then exit out of the game now that you've downloaded the mod what you need to do go into your downloads folder and you'll see this file it's in veg mod version 3.1.2 double click on it to open it up and then you want to go next and it's going to ask you if you want to install it and you're going to make sure you've clicked veg mod 3.12 click next now at this stage it will automatically try and download it into your steam or download into your disk version now it doesn't matter if you've got steam it doesn't matter if you've got a disk version all you need to do is find the correct file path to your actual game so what you do delete that click on this little box here so now that you've downloaded it what you need to do go into your downloads folder and actually open up the veg mod you want to click next click to install and now at this stage what you want to do you want to find the correct file path of where to actually install your game so what you need to do you need to click on this little black this little box here once you clicked on that box what you need to do then is actually find your Rome Total to War now I'm actually going to install this into my Steam version so I'm going to Steam Steam apps common I'm just going to click on Rome Total to War Gold and then press OK. So you can see the file path is my E Drive program Steam, Steam apps, common, Roam Total to War. If you've got a disk version, it's going to be slightly different. You just find where Roam Total to War is installed into your computer and install it there. And the last file will say Roam Total to War Gold, if that makes sense. Then you click on Next, and then Next again or Start. What will happen is the files in that download will slowly get downloaded into Rome Total to War. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a Steam version or if it's a disk version. The principle is exactly the same. So I'll pause it for two moments just while it's installing. Once you've installed the file, what you need to do is go into your Rome Total to War folder. And then once you're in your Rome Total to War folder, what you want to do is click on data, which is this folder here. Now, what we need to do here is actually delete a couple of files. Now, there is a file which is called the vegetation file, which is the DESCR-vegetation file. Now, this file, there's two of them. What you want to do is delete the one that is called a database file. And this file is 279 kilobytes big. So you want to delete that one. So I want to click on that and then click delete. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump into the vegetation folder and you'll see a bunch of files here. These files all end in the, the abbreviation VEGE. -E. What you want to do is delete all of these here. So select them all and then click delete. And then you wanna click go into the sprites folder and you wanna select all of these and then delete them. Once you've done that, you've deleted all the files that you need to do, the next thing you need to do is actually load up Rome Total to War again. Now that Rome Total to War is loaded up, all you want to do is load up a uh, custom battle or any battle you want to. So I'm going to go for South Water. 
Um, get any army together and just let it load up. I believe the reason why it does this, it kind of regenerates some of the graphics in the background. Now, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Dolphy's probably the best man to answer those questions. But there we go. Now, bear in mind, this is on low, low settings at the moment, so don't worry too much. Um, I'll just have a little zoom around. And, yeah, we can see the, the map is pretty much nearly there. So that's good. Next thing we need to do, we need to exit out of Rome Total Wall. And come right out of the menu, right back onto your desktop. So close it all the way down. And once you're back to the desktop, what we need to do now is go back into Rome Total Wall and reload it all up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up a quick little battle now that I'm back into Rome Total Wall. Make sure everything's kind of reset itself, which would take two moments. There may be a couple of steps of this video that you could skip out, but what I want to do, I want to make sure I'm doing everything correctly and I don't want to mess it up. So now that's done, what I can now do is exit that and actually put the graphic settings the way I want them to be, because it's very much on the very basic, basic graphic settings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump onto options, video settings, and I like to put everything on maximum resolution. So I've got a, a widescreen desktop, like so. Change this to high ability and just basically maximize everything now. I won't put widescreen on just yet. The reason being I'm recording and I think that's going to affect fraps for two moments whilst I do that. So I would do that at the very last stage. Oh, unit scale, huge. There we go, everything's in the highest setting possible. There we go, so I put everything back onto maximum settings and I put it onto widescreen mode. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to load up a, a replay or a battle. I'll go onto a quick uh, battle and hopefully you can see exactly what the graphics are like, what the uh, vegetation is like once this mod is now all being installed. So you've seen it before, you've seen it whilst I've been doing the mod and you're now going to see the end result. So, here we go. Oh, <laughs> we're actually fighting in a settlement, which I wasn't expecting actually. But hey ho, you can't predict these things. So just look, you can see the grass, you can see the, the rain coming down on the grass. Um, I wonder if there's any other poppies or anything else. I can uh, have a little zoom in. Look, you can see different shades of grass. You've got these kind of purple flowers in there at the moment got some rocks some longer grass um, it's probably a bad example sods law uh, if there's anything else going on around here here we go and you can see like the poppies and stuff like that I'll just get rid of these things so you can see the uh, the vegetation a bit better and if we have a little zoom in here you've got your, your trees as what as it should be in a settlement that's not affected but yeah, just look at this. It's so much better, so much clearer, so much more vibrant. And guys, I just hope you have fun with this mod. So let me know what you think of this mod. Give it a go. Go and install it. Let me know if it's been any benefit for you. Leave a little thumbs up if this video has been any use. And don't forget to check out some other guides, tutorials to Rome Tour to War. There's lots of facts and lots of tips and lots of little cheeky little hints and tips. All the best. Catch you soon. Biscuit signing off. Bye now.